What's up YouTube? Brown box Allard, brown box Allard today. I think it's, it smells like a camera. No, it smells like a lens. We'll see. What's up guys? I hope you're doing good. Um, I just got this in the mail today and I'm pretty excited about that one. I think you can guess what it is if you saw the um, title of the video. So I wanted a lens that could actually go wider than my 35 mil that's on there. So I ordered one and I ended up buying the uh, 60 millimeter 1.4 and I've heard some tremendous reviews about that lens. So let's just open it up and see what's in that brown box. This is this is a this is a really over packaged package. But there's a paper that wraps the box. Don't don't do that at home. Trusty knife. And here you go. Ah. Getting good at this. Okay, so let's go right in there. Oh, that's a lot of packaging for a small box, but hey, you know what? It's like that. So, nice little pink bubble wrap. And in there we have the 16 millimeter 1.4. WR, which is weather resistant. That fits perfectly with the X Pro 2, which is also weather resistant. And let's dive in and see what's in the box. So, you got your invoice. That's your wallet that goes ouch. And like Fuji Lens, like with every Fuji Lens, you got your little pouch there. And again, I, I talked about that. I really like that, uh, oh my God, the sun is coming up here in Montreal. Uh, really like the, the quality actually of these pouches. I, I actually end up using it uh, because I throw my lens in some different bags. Uh, sometimes a backpack, sometimes a shoulder pack, and uh, I, I, I use it. So it's the first time I'm using these um, little lens pouch. Usual papers. And let's see what we have in here as our main act. There it is. This is the 16 millimeter 1.4 from Fujinon with the actual lens cap that comes with it. So let's actually mount it to see to see what we have here. So let's put the box away. So there you have it. This is the 16 millimeter. Like I said, very nice lens. I heard it's super sharp, and I heard it's also uh, the bokeh is uh, is very nice. So this lens will be uh, able to do manual focus and actually you can just pull the little ring here. This is the zoom, not the zoom, sorry, the focus ring that you can pull like that to do autofocus and you can pull it back like that to do uh, manual focus. So that's a neat little feature. I also heard that you can uh, you know, get pretty close to your subject with this lens, which makes it very interesting also. Also the aperture ring that you got here feels very good, uh, pretty standard with uh, the other Fuji lens, um, quite like it. I, I can't believe I was not using these aperture rings in the in the past with my Nikon gear. I, I just I just love this, this system. So there you have it, um, 1.4 is a pretty decent uh, low light capable lens. And let's put the lens hood here, which will probably be on all the time because I moved away from filters and I started using just a lens hood because I don't want to put anything in front of this beautiful glass here that you're seeing on the camera. And let's actually mount it on the uh, Fuji uh, X-Pro2 just to see how it looks like on a body like that. Let's put the lens here. Lens cap. There you go. And let's put it on here. And 16 is actually the equivalent of, of 23, and um, that makes it a very cool lens for street photography. And I've, I've been shooting a lot of street photography lately, and uh, I'm, I'm planning on using it uh, a lot for my um, for my street photography. So um, yeah, let's. This is how it looks on the X Pro 2. Not too big. I kind of like it. 
let's actually take a photo of what's going on here. So that's, oh, that's manual focus, and then that's autofocus. Let's take a photo. Let's pump up the overcompensation. And there you go, I'll put the photo on the blog. This is literally the first photo I took with this lens. Um, so again, overall great quality in terms of the build. Uh, can't wait to try it at 1.4 uh, because these uh, lenses uh, ask to be shot wide open. Uh, again, this is what I've heard from other reviewers. And uh, again, can't wait to start using it. I'll post some photos on the blog at friendranger.com. I'll post some photos on uh, my Instagram, so you can follow that at, at Fred Ranger, and you can also follow my 500 pixel page, which is also under Fred Ranger. So I hope you guys have fun, keep on shooting. You know what? Be happy, enjoy life, and enjoy your gear. Cheers. Holy crap, this is how close I can get to the lens, and it's, I can see the bookalicious in the background. Wow, this is, this is great, guys. Nice. Nice, nice, nice.